Good morning, everyone. It's just me, and I'm here with a handy dandy tip to help you figure out a quick way to save all of your favorite websites and links in one place so that you're not searching and spending time that we do not have to find them. This is an extension to my earlier video showing you how to add shortcuts to your desktop. I'm a faithful Google user, and so my preference of browsers is Google Chrome. So if you're on Google Chrome, and you have a Google account, this will work for you. So first you have to go into Google Chrome. You need to sign in in the top right, right corner. Go ahead, click on the little circle icon with the blank person in it and make sure you've logged into your account. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start saving links to specific locations. And instead of putting them across the top, you'll be able to log them into categories. So say that even, let's just start here, that I wanna make sure that I can get back to Google at any time. We know that if we click this star in the top right corner of our URL or our address bar, it's gonna bookmark this tab and it's asking us, what do we want to call it? I can spell Google. I need more coffee. Okay, but it says right here, bookmarks bar. So if I say done, you're going to see that Google has now been added right over here. The only problem is if we keep finding lots of really cool sites that we want to use frequently in the classroom or in our everyday lives, we can only fit so many across here. And then there's going to be a continuation and we're not going to be able to find what we need. So instead, I'm going to show you how to create folders of categories where you can store all of your bookmarks in one place. So I'm going to go to another website that I frequently like to use, especially for science, How Stuff Works. And I'm just going to bookmark this so that way I have this general location if I had um, resources I wanted my students to review. So now I'm going to bookmark it, but instead of clicking the bookmarks bar, I'm going to click more. And then here at the bottom, I'm going to choose new folder. I'm going to say science and just click save. And now I have a folder right here for science. And so now when I go to this science tab, I can see how stuff works is below it. So now let me try resources. So many of our kids are doing research and they need to go to this J store home page. So again, I'm going to do that again, just one more time to show you. I'm going to click the star. I'm going to change this folder to say bookmarks bar and I'm going to click more. And now I'm going to click new folder and I'm going to just type research and save. So now across the top, I have started my list of categories, science, research. Under here, I have JSTOR home. Under here, I have science. And for the rest of you, you may want to just add stuff that you use for school, launchpad access, and go ahead and link. And we're going to say class link, research, Again, I'm going to say bookmarks bar, more, and now I can either name this Fulton or I can name it Riverwood and save, and I can put all of my important links all in one place. This allows me to have hundreds saved over time, and as long as you are logging in to your same Google account, you'll have access to these on every device from here on out. Hope this helps make your day a little easier. Have a wonderful one.